It says study the following information carefully and answer the questions given below. Bipul starts walking from his office towards his home. He starts from the front gate of the office, walks 4 km, turns right, walks 2 km, then turns left, walks 3 km, then turns right, walks 2 km, then turns left and walks 5 km. Again he turns left, walks 4 km, turns right, walks 5 km and finally he takes a right turn and walks 6 km and reaches home. So Bipul basically started from his office and reached home. And I think two bits have been asked here. So let's let's trace the path. It's all about tracing the path correctly, right? So it says Bipul starts walking from his office towards his home. Yeah, he starts from the front gate of the office and walks four kilometer. Now the biggest question mark here is, in which direction did he start? What was the starting direction? That is not known to us. But we have solved such questions in the past, right? What do we do? We assume one of the directions and start it. And if required, we will change it towards the end. We will we can just rotate the whole path and then get the required answer right so don't worry that you don't know the starting point right i mean that's the whole question right that's that that's the question all about you without knowing the starting point how do you solve so let's assume that he started from his office towards the home he starts from the front gate of the office right so let's assume this is office and the front gate of, gate of office is towards east right front gate of office is towards east that's the assumption so assuming that let's start it may come out to be correct it may come out to be wrong if it is wrong you will just have to rotate it by 90 degrees or 180 degrees or 270 degrees to get the required answer. Yeah. So let us assume the front gate of the office is towards the east. Yeah. Now he starts from the front gate of the office, walks four kilometers. He has walked four kilometers, right? Uh, towards the east. Then turns right. When a person is going towards east, right would be towards the south. Then walks two kilometers. He has walked two kilometers. Right, he walks four kilometers, turns right, walks two kilometers, then turns left. Left for a person going towards south will be towards the right and walks three kilometers. So now he walks three kilometers. This is done. Then he turns to his right, again to his right. So his right would be towards the south and walks two kilometers. Yeah, right and walks two kilometers. And then he turns left. Left is again towards the right and walks five kilometers. Remember, this is all about the direction sense. I mean, you should know what is left and what is right when a person is facing east or west or south or north, right? So he walks five kilometers. Yeah, again, he turns left. Now he turns left. So person was going towards east, left would mean towards north now and walks four kilometers. He walks four kilometers. Remember, when you are taking this four kilometers, you have to map it to the other point. See, the point is this is horizontal, this is vertical, this is horizontal, this is vertical, this is horizontal. Now two and two only we have covered four kilometers vertically. So when you cover the four kilometers in the opposite direction, you match the same line. Otherwise, you may get the wrong answer. So be careful about this. I mean, that's the most important part here. Yeah. So again, he turns left walks four kilometers and then turns to his right and now he turns to his right so when a person is going towards north the right will be towards our right only and walks five kilometers and now he walks five kilometers right i don't have space to draw so i'm just taking five kilometers like this and finally he takes a right turn now he takes a right turn so when a person is going towards east right turn would mean uh, towards the bottom right he walks four kilometers and then turns to his right uh, yeah, turns to his right, he was moving in this direction, then he moved in this direction, turned to his right, walks 5 kilometers and finally he takes a right turn. Finally he takes a right turn and walks 6 kilometers to reach his home. Walks 6 kilometers to reach his home. Try and understand that last part now. See, finally he takes a right turn. He is going towards east. He takes a right turn meaning what? He comes towards the south. Walks how much? 6 kilometers. So he will cross this 4 kilometers and come down. 6 kilometers vertically and reaches home this is the final point right let's say this is his home this point is his home so started from office traced all this path and reaches home nothing has been given nothing has been given about direction i mean we don't even know whether he has got into the home in the right direction or not yeah so let's look at the question if bipul's home is facing north in which direction did he start walking now understand if is the point here if bipul's home is facing north where is his home here is his home remember Bipul's home actually here is facing north. Home is in south. Understand home being in south is different from home facing north. Here the home is in south. But facing north. You understand? So don't don't assume that because the home is in south it is not facing north the home is in south but facing north right so this is how he has entered he has entered like this right look at this arrow he has entered in the home by going towards south which means the home was facing north this is the main main entrance let's say this is the entrance right so when you are entering by walking towards south which means the home is opening towards north so if people's home is facing north luckily what you have done is correct this is correct here his home is facing north 
in which direction did he start walking in which direction did he start walking he started walking in the east direction he started walking in the east direction so answer is east i'm sure the biggest error that most of us would commit here is this we will not understand the difference between home being in south and home facing south home is in south but it is facing north similarly the home may be in north but if the home is in north it faces south east and west accordingly so if people's home is facing north then he is started walking towards the east direction suppose if it is not facing north as per our path we will rotate rotate it by 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees we have discussed that concept in our earlier advanced examples of directions you can just refer to those concepts right let me go to the next question now so we are lucky that we have got it right got it right meaning we have got the home facing north otherwise we may have to take one more step and get the answer now next question bipul's home is in which direction with respect to his office Bipul's home is in which direction with respect to his office? Understand. We do not know if his home is here exactly and office is here exactly. This was an assumption. This whole path is an assumption based on the starting point of his office. We have assumed that the office is in east, but it need not be in east. It could be in west. It could be in south. It could be in north. He could have started in, I mean, here we have assumed that he has started in east. But what if he starts walking in north? What if he starts walking towards west? What if he starts walking towards south? There are four possibilities. Accordingly, we'll get four possibilities of home. So, Bipul's home is in which direction with respect to office? As per this assumption, his home is in the southeast direction. Yes or no? As per this assumption, his home is in the southeast direction because office is here, home is here between south and between east. So, southeast. But is this always correct? No, it need not be correct always. Answer cannot be determined. Answer to this question cannot be determined. People's home is in which direction it is of office cannot be determined. It depends on where the office is, in which direction the office is facing. You able to follow? So can't be determined is the answer. I'm sure there's an error here that both the options were given as southwest. But suppose one option is given as southeast. I'm sure a lot of you will mark the answer as southeast. Because you have found the home to be in southeast. But actual answer is cannot be determined. Do not connect with the previous part. I'm sure a lot of you will look at this part. That Bipul's home is facing north. This was an if. That's the reason I had highlighted this, right? This was an if. It if it is in north, then this is the answer. Here, that you, you cannot consider the data given in the previous question to answer the second one, right? All those who have considered this uh, diagram to be correct because it has satisfied that north condition, right? And then mark the answer as southeast. All of you are wrong. Because we do not, this is like data sufficiency, right? I've told you, in data sufficiency, when you're checking the second statement, you should forget about the first statement. You cannot consider the data given in the first statement while answering the second statement or while verifying the second statement. Same applies here also. So, Bipul's home is in which direction with respect to his office? We do not know. We do not know. If office, let's say, if he started walking towards north, the whole thing will get changed, right? The whole thing would get changed. So, cannot be determined is the answer. Option 5 is the answer to question number 2. And a lot of you, I'm sure, would have gone wrong because you have considered the data given in the first question while answering the second question, which is a gross error. 